Celebrating a moment many had feared would never come. Back in the arms of their families after two and a half years in captivity. These girls were kidnapped from their school in Shibok, Nigeria by the Islamist group Boko Haram in 2014. Helen Musa was one of the 276 ripped away from her loved ones. At a special church service in the capital, Abuja, she said she never imagined she would see this day, praising God for saving her from the enslavement. Helen is one of 21 girls to be freed this week after the Red Cross and the Swiss government brokered a deal with the militant group. Nigerian authorities have denied reports that captured Boko Haram fighters were swapped for their release. They've promised that this is the first step in bringing home all of the kidnapped girls. Almost 200 are still missing. After a tearful reunion with her daughter, Rahab Emanuel said she's praying that God will free all the remaining girls and that they'll be in good health. After so much time, though, it's believed a few don't want to come home. They've been married off to Boko Haram fighters, had children, and been forced to give up Christianity for Islam. But these 21 girls are home, finally able to embrace their religion and their families. represent women in politics.